Now that we've washed our wheel, we've washed our tire, final steps here in making the, the wheel and tire look great are the final cleansing and drying stage. I've gone through this wheel with a microfiber towel, which is my favorite when I've got chrome. I can go in every nook and cranny. I can make this look shiny and bright. Um, if you're in harsh environments, you might even want to apply a coat of wax on your chrome to protect it against salt, rust, and corrosion. What I want to do now is put a tire dressing on my tire. Now, there's two types to choose from. There's a solvent-based. Really brings out a rich shine. Um, it's flammable, so you have to be cautious with that. And we like to apply this with an applicator sponge. So what we'll do is we'll come in here and, and we'll uh, spray it directly on the sponge here. If I can get this to spray. And we spray it on here and we'll wipe it directly on the tire, in and out of the nooks and crannies. What this does is it keeps me from spraying it up onto the body panels. It gets, keeps it off the chrome. It keeps it off the other part of the, the, the vehicle where it's going to attract dust and dirt. The other product that, that we use primarily here at the firehouse is the water-based silicone tire shine. Again, you can either use an application pad like this, or what we do to keep things moving along and to be able to make sure we get in all the nooks and crannies is an applicator brush like this. So we simply spray it on the brush like that, and then we start applying it to the tire. And you can see we go in and out of the cracks, crevices. We can go right up next to the chrome without getting it on it. This leaves a nice, deep, rich, you know, look to your wheel and tire, your tires without getting the rest of the vehicle done. This is one of my favorite parts of the car in really making it look great when all's said and done.